y'all, it's Michelle. I am going to do some makeup today. I, this is, well, this will be my very first tutorial video using Saint. Now I have used, I've done some tutorials before, but I was just being silly. Y'all see, I have no makeup on, I'm, I apologize, but in order for me to get where I need to be, I gotta start somewhere. I went ahead and I did my, uh, my eyelashes and um i put some white in my eyes and the waterline underneath from what i hear it makes people like me look younger so i don't know we'll see we'll see so anyway let's go to the next thing i'm using palace which is one of our highlights um you can use it as a uh just like a like the highlights for Saint are like the foundation and concealer. So what we're doing is we're just doing the same thing we did before. Only in my opinion, I have bought all kinds of makeup over the years. And this makeup is definitely by far um, the most complete set where you have the same stuff. It all works the same and it lasts all day long. So that's a good thing for us women that, especially if you, if you work, like if you're a teacher or you work kind of job where you really don't have time to like reapply makeup. Cause when I worked in education, that's all I had. I, mean, I had to do it halfway through the day and I, I wouldn't have to like put base all, but I have to put powder. I have to redo all my other stuff. So the only thing that I ever have to add on back is maybe some lip gloss. So, and I use theirs too. There's, Right. Stuff is highly pigmented. Pigmented. So, okay, I've got a mirror right here that has like it's like bigger because I can't put makeup on with glasses. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this stuff called mango, and it's a little bit darker. So anyway, I'm gonna put this, and I'm looking in this mirror up here because I can see it better. And I'm gonna put it right here. And it's kind of a helps your little under eye area. Anyway, y'all, you can tell this is my first one. So I'm trying, I'm trying. Now I'm going to do my contour. This type of brush, it's like a one of those that sculpts out your everything. And what I do is I take this, you see this thing? I don't wanna fall. I just do that and I get barely any on there. It's enough, believe me. And I find that area that's just at the edge of my ear and your cheekbones. You can find your cheekbones right there. You just kind of stamp it on. I'm gonna do it again on this side. Look at that. I'm gonna do my forehead once again. Uh, only I'm not going, I'm literally sitting like this. Cross our neck and our chin. And if you're young, that make you look snatched. I don't look snatched, I'm 54 almost. I'll be 54 in less than a month. But I do look a little skinnier through here. I take it and I go down a little bit with it. This is what I do. I like to take the uh, contour and I wanna write down my nose. I have to look up here because there ain't no way I'm gonna be able to follow it on my phone. And I just draw that right there and go up. See, you can see that it already kind of made my nose look thin, whatever. But anyway, it'll work. And I'll push them down here on my lips. There you go. A little bit up here, maybe. Eh, uh, whatever. All right. And by the way, that contour shade is called Astoria. I'm getting some new ones soon, but um, right now I'm using Astoria. Next, all right, and by the way, that contour shade is called Astoria. Next, I'm going to go in with my brightening highlight. And this is in Moonlit. That's the name of the color right there. So I take it. Sometimes I'll put it on with a with an applicator. Do it down my nose with my Ziva area. And that way I don't have this giant middle streak down my face. 
I feel that right there. And down here, I'm a fun girl. My main highlight, which is called Amber. And, oh shit, right there. Put it in all the areas that I haven't filled in. So I've got some areas down here. Here, sorry, I looked away. Boo. I'm just filling in the lines. I have some weird hyperpigmentation too, just because I guess it's because I'm older. I take Sandy, which is another color. And I just kind of dot it in. So I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take, this is what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna look at my mirror up here. Get this eye, hair out of my eye. Okay, and I'm gonna start pushing on it. And what I do is I do the lighter colors first, literally stamped in there. Do up here. And you see, I haven't really touched my uh, contour because, or make it look lighter. It looks pretty natural. Okay, so I did my nose. My thing right there. Let me make sure I got it all in. Now, right now, I think I look like death, honestly. Not because of the makeup, but because. Um, but anyway, it's all evened out now. Though. Right, next, I'm going to do blush. I have got rosewood. I've had it for like a year now, which is good. And what I do is I put it, I place it like right in this area. Sometimes I'll take the leftover and just throw it on my lips. Really pinky color that I like to put on here too. This one is wallflower. Let me tell you something too, what I learned from doing this makeup. So creams, really, really last, and they are hydrating. There you have it. And I just blend it out. Oh, now I got a nice little color. Now I don't look dead. I'm gonna do it on this side too. Put over my nose, down my chin. All right, so now we got that done. Next, we're going to do powder. And I'm just gonna take the uh, Vanilla Dust Setting Powder. It's good, it's nice. I like to use it and put it under my eyes. I think it's very light, but I like to set it under my eyes for sure. I'm trying to do everything I can not to look like I have lines. All right, there is, some people might really need it. I just put a little bit up there too. Okay, now it's time for bronzer. Um, make me definitely not look dead. I need one of these bronzer blush. I take it and I just, bounce it on there. See that? It's got a good amount on there. It's not really, this stuff is so light. And I just put it on my forehead. Like or down on my chin and my nose. And I just swirl it. it. Definitely warms up the face. Definitely. Makes me look alive. So there we go. I'm going to do my eyes. Why not? First, I'm going to show you if you have, and I didn't know this until I started doing this, that I had hooded eyes. One day I, I took a picture and I was smiling real big and I noticed, I was like, where's my eye makeup? So, um, unless I do like really dark, and I don't want to do that, I'm getting too old for that. This is what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to take, which one is this called? Leo? Yeah, Leo. Do it like that. Just kind of like that. And what you do is you keep your eye open like this. Do it again on this side. So you keep your eye open. You're not doing like this. You're keeping your eye open. So it kind of gives you the illusion that you don't have a hooded eye. Who'd have thunk it? Put it under the eye. So there's first step. First step to color. Second step. I like to pop the ends of my uh, eyes. All right, I like to take the other side and just kind of smooth it a little bit. All right, there's that. Now next I'm gonna do my highlight like in the corner of my eye. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, I need a little bit more in my crease. So this one is called pomegranate. Yes, it's pomegranate. It's a little purpley reddish color. color. I just kind of go in the middle and I just deepen this a little bit. Just a little, just a smidge. Riviera. I like it. It's kind of, it's a little dazzly. 
Some women think that they can't wear shimmery eyeshadow. Are you kidding me? I live for shimmer. I love shimmer. I love sequins. I love all of that stuff. Of course, you can't wear any sequins on your eyes. You can be a little weird. You see the shimmery stuff on there? I'm going to go in and I'm going to do basically the last thing that I do, putting on the highlighter. First, I go into Glamazing and I go down my nose a little bit. I go across my cupid's bow and I go down on my chin a teeny bit. First time I ever used this stuff, I was working in education and I came up to my coworker and she was like, whoa, what did you put it in your face? I was like, highlighter? So anyway, I, I take Starlet up my cheek right here and right here. It's, I mean, you barely need a teeny. Then I go up and down my nose and I go down my neck with it usually just because sometimes I put on my arms. Depends on how I feel. I do sometimes take the Glamazing and I put it, put it right here on my brow bone, just to give it a little bit of pop. All right. All right, y'all. I hope it was informative. I don't know, I tried. It's my very first one, so y'all forgive me and don't judge. Y'all have a good day.